Hello everyone, this is Tobe Wonderland, and yeah, I'm doing this game. The one that all of you love and know so much, and I've seen probably dozens of LPs of. But not so fast! How many of those LPs have you actually seen with the Japanese version? That's right, if you didn't catch the video that I had posted a couple weeks ago, I have two of my favorite games for the Nintendo 64 in Japanese. One of them being Ocarina of Time, and the other is Majora's Mask. Now I know, as I said already, it's been way overdone. Uh, so many LPs already exist of it, and pretty much most gamers know what this is. But, since I have it in Japanese, I felt this was a good excuse for me to kind of give my own personal twist to the game. And this is something that I've really enjoyed playing ever since I got it as a kid up to today. I still regard it as a wonderful masterpiece, despite in the back of my head knowing that there is a few flaws with it. But with that said, I better push start so we can skip this cutscene. And okay, good, we have no files on here, that actually saves me time. Uh, let me go down here though. Is that a hold for Z-targeting? I'm not sure. I better leave it where it was at. And I had to look this up ahead of time because I knew, whoa, that is a lot of characters. And what's down here? I guess we have more options. Oh, cool. And I think I see the characters that I need. And, oh, they got English, even. Well, they were pretty generous to uh, have that. I guess uh, I've seen that with Japan for uh, many things, actually. They still seem to have some English language influences in certain parts of their culture, which, for example, you've seen in the title, they still have in English, The Legend of Zelda. Of course, that's more of a logo than an official title, but you get my idea. But I think this looks like the characters uh, I need. I had to look this up ahead of time. Uh, Link's name in Japanese is apparently Rinku, which sounds very similar to uh, Riku, the character from Kingdom Hearts, coincidentally. Just off by one letter. And I hope I have the right characters for this. This is just what I could find when I looked it up. I'm pretty sure it's this one. And... Oh, jeez, there's two of them that look like it could be the next one. There's this, and then there's this one. Oh, boy. Well, I'm looking at the characters. It looks like the main difference is the big stroke. This one has a more bold top point, and the other has a more bold lower point, if that makes any sense, with that big whoosh stroke that both of those characters have. I think it's this one. Watch, someone's probably going to get butt hurt and leave a comment saying, You moron, that's not how you spell Link in Japanese. But I tried, okay? And it looks like this is the character that's last. And if I'm not mistaken, that spells out Rinku or Link in Japanese. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. Now, luckily, since I have the Japanese version, the text, oh my god, it goes so fast. Look at that speed. It's sonic speed, I swear. Compared to the uh, English version, this text is the boss. It's just flying so fast. Because I remember in English, in the vast kingdom of Hyrule, da 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 da. And it's pretty much the same story, just in Japanese. Because here we find Link shuddering in his nightmares. Now, seeing this as a kid, I was always really intrigued with the cutscene that takes place here, because this is the first thing I remember as a kid, actually. I remember it the same over ten years ago as I see it right now. Just all the memories flowing right in your head. And he sees Ganondorf. And he has the most epic face. <laughs> Absolutely terrified. I guess while we got some text dialogue here, I guess I could go ahead and explain a few things that I would like to be uh, communicating to my viewers with what I'm going to be doing in my Let's Play of this game. Yes, all of the important stuff must be colored. 
at least we know something important is going on because it's look see that it's in red I'm pointing at the TV like you can see me pointing at it but you can clearly see on the screen when it has colored text that something major is gonna happen or is going on anyway uh, I think for this let's play I debated what whether I should do this or not I am going to be going uh, how do I explain this I'm gonna be doing some glitches in this game uh, since I know this game pretty well and from what I've learned over the years, there's some glitches I do know how to perform on this game with ease. Uh, please, no bomb hovering or anything crazy like that, and I'm definitely not doing the pretty much the whole game skip that occurs from a weird glitch in the, the Deku Tree, or Deku Tree, however you like to say it. I say them interchangeably. Again, Zelda's pretty vague with pronunciations. Heck, even the uh, book that just came out, Harrow's Story, is not even more really a dictionary to help clarify some of these pronunciations. But still, a good book nonetheless. If you haven't gotten it, Amazon does have it pretty cheap right now. I pre-ordered mine though, so I got it relatively fast. I'm hearing that people are having to wait a while till they actually get it. Yes, Link. It is Navi. As if we don't know who this character is. And she's trying to wake him up. Also, throughout this Let's Play, um, oh, I guess I should mention, too, uh, back to the glitches, uh, I'm pretty much just gonna do the basic things. Nothing too intricate. Um, so that would be, like, the infinite sword glitch, uh, maybe ground jumping and different things like that, but definitely no bomb hovering, because I'm terrible at that. Uh, and also no swordless link, either. Um, I... I have the original, like, gold cartridge American release, and yay, we can finally move. That was still a lot faster than what the American version was, though. But anyway, I have the gold cartridge as well, um, and it is the original version before many of the edits taken place and some glitches got removed in the later versions. And I'm just, like, a little... Sorry, I had like a moment there, just trying to think of what I was trying to say. Basically, uh, Swordless Link is a pretty popular glitch, though, that anyone who knows glitches about the Zelda game, this one in particular, knows that the Swordless uh, Link's pretty easy to do if you have the original version. However, I'm not going to do it, just because when I did attempt to do it in the past with my American version, I did have problems with it, and I was afraid I was going to delete my save data. So that's one that I'm generally just going to avoid. There's already numerous uh, videos that demonstrate that particular glitch anyway, but... You know, just thought I'd get that stayed out of the way. Also, I will be getting all heart pieces in the game. Uh, 36, to be exact. If I'm counting right. And you're already wanting to get my attention, Navi. What a surprise. Hey, at least in my opinion, though, Navi's not as annoying as what uh, Fee is from uh, Skyward Sword. Master, there is an 85% chance that you're about to walk into danger. So it's really up to you, people. Everyone's got their personal opinion as far as who the most annoying uh, assistant or helper is in the Zelda series as a whole. And, yeah, in my opinion, Fee is definitely the most annoying just because of, uh, well, even, like, the redundant things. She's like, your batteries are getting low, and you can see, like, the battery icon on the screen with it flashing that it's low as it is, and yet she reminds you about this. And the same goes for, like, if you're low on health. You can see your hearts. You don't need to be reminded that your health's running low. Fee's just got the annoying quirks like that. And we're going to go ahead and get our sword, meaning that we can already do infinite sword glitch if we desire, which I might do in a little bit. Of course, I guess it would help to equip the sword. All that Japanese text. This definitely, uh... I don't know how to describe this experience, really. Like, it's cool that I know what I'm doing, but at the same time, it's just kind of weird. It's like I flung myself into my own wonderland of the Zelda games. <laughs> I guess that's a good way to describe it. 
because I can't understand any of the words, though I know what a good majority of them already say, since I have played this game numerous times. I guess I should, uh, get this glitch activated. Okay, yeah, I'm about to do the most basic glitch here. Oh, wait a minute, I can't do it yet. Oops, no shield. Doi. Yeah, you need the shield to do it. Um, I forgot about that. Okay, I thought you had to spin attack that, apparently not. Major lag there. That was surprising that it does that, because I have the uh, uh, expansion pack in my N64. So it's just a little surprising that that lagged there. And Kokiri Girl wants my attention, but I'm not going to bother with that. Okay, get the hidden money. I don't think I really needed it, though. I'm only getting the shield. Okay, now we can do infinite sword glitches. Wow, that tech speed. It's just, it's just... I'm so glad it's fast. And I believe... This means I... Okay, good, I was right. I was confused there. I thought no was three characters. But I think that might have said, like, don't buy or something. Might have been, like, buy and don't buy. Let's go ahead and equip the shield. So yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, annoying uh, uh, assistant helpers. We were talking about fee fi fo chamas fum. Yeah, I don't know where that came from, but <laughs> that's what I think of whenever I think of fee. And that's the other thing, more ambiguous pronunciation. Some people swear to death that it's fi, not fee. But it doesn't matter to me. It really doesn't. I guess I could do the glitch with you. Oh, no, that's not it, Rinku. That's what I'm going to start calling you from now on. Okay, there, I think I got it. Yes, I did. Even though I don't have the sword visible and... Oops, I forgot I shouldn't do that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and try this again. I want to do it where you can actually see the sword. Uh, I can do it on this sign here. Again, if I do it correctly. Come on. I am failing at one of the most basic glitches on this game. I just did it with the uh, Mido, so why can't I do it with the sign? Oh, Navi. Already starting to get on my nerves. Uh, behind Fee, though. There. Yes, finally! You see how this sword is glowing? That means you've activated Infinite Sword Glitch. Basically, you have to put the shield down and uh, swipe the sword, and immediately after you swipe it, like as it retracts back into your hand, uh, you have to um, not walk in water, because that cancels it. I'm not going to worry about it, actually, but I, at least I demonstrated that you can do it here in the forest. You can pretty much do it with any uh, object that interacts with you. As a matter of fact, I'll just go ahead and do it with Mido again, if I can get it to work with him. But yeah, use the shield, thrust the sword, and immediately press the A button to interact with the object or the person that you're in front of. And if you do it right, you'll cause the screen to act like it's in Z target, even if you're not holding Z. The camera kind of spazzes out, and you can kind of walk in a funky angle. And sometimes, it has to be with uh, an inanimate object, not a person. The sword will be visible, and it has like a glowing white beam to it. That indicates that you got the glitch to work. And, as you can see, even though I don't have the sword out, I can just walk by enemies. And it knocks them out. Just like that. When you use the sword, or run into water, or take damage, though, uh, it does take you out of the uh, infinite sword glitch. It kind of It's kind of like a mode, so to say. And hello, Deku Tree. Fancy meeting you. Yes, uh, I have the courage to take on this task and eliminate the curse. At least that's what I believe he says, and... Okay, yeah, there I think that was yes and no. Yes was two characters, and no was three. I don't think uh, most languages outside of English have a direct 
like yes no scenario you have to use like an extra um syllable or word or character whatever the language might be in order for it to mean no it's basically the same thing as confirming something except you add like one little extra character or letter or word to indicate that you are saying no if that makes any sense and ignoring you okay yes we can climb the vines it doesn't matter if you climb the vines or the ladder I'm not going to get too heavy with explaining the uh, mechanics of this game because really um, most people know what to do uh, when it comes to this particular game. Because if you haven't played this game, where have you been? Like seriously. Especially with the 3DS, there is no excuse that you could not have seen or heard about this game. For any modern gamer at least. Okay, hop on away. Looked like he was doing the bunny hop, like hop, hop, hop. Okay, we're just gonna get the slingshot and move on. So let me think, is there anything I haven't covered? Oh, um, I'll basically be, uh, when it comes to items, you saw I skipped the map. For the most part, I'm usually going to skip the map and the compass of most dungeons. And I don't remember if up here you get anything special or not. I think it might be just money or maybe even a heart. I'm not sure. That's a heart. Okay. You got a heart, Link. You're all heart. Yes, I see, Navi. Jeez. You just won't shut up. When I was a kid, I actually did not know that you could knock that ladder down. I swear. Um. Like, I thought you had to actually reset the game so that you would spawn at the beginning of the dungeon again. Just to get out of that room. Because again, that's just the logic you have when you're 8 or 9 years old, I suppose. I definitely got stuck a few times playing this as a kid, needless to say. Uh, you know, my first playthrough wasn't pretty, but that was the fun of it, because the exploration more than made up for it. And hello, pellets, who look like Pac-Man. They kind of look, they also look like those uh, enemies on the Mario series. Oh, I'm trying to think what they're called, but they're like little plants, and they're instead of yellow, they're more like white, and they have an open mouth just like what those seeds look like. That or Pac-Man, whichever you prefer. It just kind of has a striking resemblance. And what am I doing? I don't need to go in that room. For a second I felt like I had to go in there. I, I must be thinking of Master Quest, because on Master Quest they moved the slingshot on the highest floor. Um, I do have Master Quest, by the way. And hop skippily doo down the web we go. And down into the water. Oh, I'll go ahead and get the, uh, Skulltula. Um, yeah, we might as well hit the switch. I don't know if there's anything there that we really need to worry about, but... At least it's there. Oh wait, I guess you can't get it that way. Gotta hop over to it. Uh, by the way, for those who are curious, um... To my knowledge, uh, Japan never got version 1.2 for the N64, like the US did, so uh, basically all versions in Japan have the original, um, well for the most part, most of the original glitches, as well as the uh, uh, original like Red Blood Ganon and all that stuff. Okay, I gotta carefully get around uh, that gold sculpture. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can try to activate this glitch here. Uh, I need to count the number of steps, so give me a second here. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14... I believe it's 15 steps, right here. And let's see if I can do this. Did I go too far? I did, didn't I? 
Shoot! Oh. Well, it looks like this is the first part that I'm going to cut at, so... Um, yeah, I'll be back when I can actually do that glitch uh, correctly. I'll see you guys in just a minute. Okay, looks like I got it. So, I'm now under the water here, and you can see that I can't zoom in because I'm currently somewhere that I shouldn't be. I'm pretty much under the flooring, but if you look at the bottom of the screen, you can see where the vines and the room to the boss goes. Well, just swim over to the edge, and you kind of land into oblivion here, and you can see there's the vines. We're in the room where we should be taken to the boss, but the thing is, the room hasn't fully loaded yet, so you want to swim, keep swimming, and you can see this part of the water, as you get closer to the vines, you kind of like fall off, as you can see like right there. There's a certain part here where there's like no water. Well that's fine, all you have to do is just walk over to the vines themselves and climb up. Now you don't have to climb the whole way up. But the further up you climb, the better, especially since I don't have the map. Um, but when you see the web clear way, it's a good sign that uh, you made it. Just to be safe, I'm going to kind of take my time as I drop down here. And hop skillably do. we are at the boss door. Now, um, I know that was a very, very poor way of explaining that glitch. It's really tricky to explain. Um, and it's pretty precise. It's one of the few precise glitches that I know and that I'm ever going to do. You're not going to probably see me do anything more insane like that ever again. But basically, uh, you need the ghost scultula in the uh, room that I was just in before I glitched out and made it down here. And you have to position yourself. I counted exactly 15 steps. Well, actually 14. But you can actually get like a lot closer to the gold sculpture than what uh, I had Link do. Um, I just took one step above it because I didn't want to take the risk of like, like bumping into it. But basically, if you put yourself in the frame where you're right above the gold sculpture and not actually making contact with it, but you're like right above it, uh, take 15 steps up the vine until you're exactly above the gold sculpture, like you're climbing back to the entrance to the. Uh, Deku tree. Let go, and you want to kind of like hold up on the control stick, but don't like hold straight up. You want to hold like s sort of to the left, like in a diagonal way. And don't like push too forcefully on it. It's really difficult to explain this. But if you do it right, you'll glitch through the wall. Sometimes you might hit the gold sculptula, which pretty much every time I attempted it, I did. That's okay. But if you do it just right, you'll glitch through the wall where you land in the water underneath the flooring. Because there's like water that's underneath the floor where the uh, switch, the web, the treasure chest, and all that are. And you're kind of like positioned where you're right underneath it. And as I explained, you'll see the room, which is where I'm at right now. So what you want to do is don't swim out to where like... Uh, the gold sculptula is, otherwise you'll have cancelled the glitch. You want to swim toward the edge of the map so that you go toward this room. I pretty much landed like right over here, because when I landed, you will you saw like I was on the ground and then I started swimming. I landed somewhere probably right about here, and then I got into the water. Basically what happened was the room hasn't fully loaded yet. And that's why I was cycling between uh, swimming and walking. And for some reason, the water doesn't fully load here when you get to that part of the map and you haven't climbed the vines yet. But basically, all you have to do is climb these vines, go into the other room, and then come back down. And the game will have acted like uh, you came the normal way and it'll load the map for you. 
I hope that made sense. I know that was a very, very lengthy explanation, but <laughs> glitches can be tricky like that. Um, it, this particular glitch isn't that well known either. Um, I haven't seen it online really. Um, I saw another video that showed it. That's kind of how I learned about it, actually. Um, but yeah, I just thought that was something neat I could share at least. But anyway, I'm gonna stop it here. I actually was gonna keep going, but I see that I like keep dropping like a frame every minute, so I'm gonna look into that. Hopefully this recording turned out okay. Till next time though, we'll be facing the boss. This is Tobe Wonderland, and I hope I left a good impression for you guys. I know this is a game with lots of Let's Plays already existing of it, but mine's in Japanese. Glorious Japanese. It's special. Anyway, guys, I will see you next time for more of Japanese Zelda Ocarina of Time. See you guys later.